Today's Christmas services were held inside the All Saints Cathedral that is still under construction. Ntagali, who doubles as the Bishop of Kampala, presided over the three services of the day. His message to the congregation was largely a concern with devaluing the truth of the Bible. Men going for operation to become women and women getting the opposite sex. That is happening and the Church of England is designing a catechism because when you become a man, you need a new name. When you become a woman, you need a new name. They want to rebaptize those people. Isn't that a mess? Many people have become self-centered. They are greedy. They want to satisfy themselves and therefore become corrupt. Tagali also preached the need for peace and reconciliation in society. God provides through the birth of Christ peace between neighbors. They are neighbors who are always at conflict. Even land boundaries, you know, some are killing each other because of land grabbing. So where is peace? Where is peace? Jesus is our peace. The Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, was among the hundreds in the congregation. Speaking after the service, Kadaga applauded the Archbishop and promised to use her office to fight corruption. I've been talking about it, uh, but uh, you know, there are many actors involved. I, I, I may shout about it, but the people who are to implement are somewhere else. But for me, I'll continue speaking about corruption. I will not stop. Domestic violence. Now, this has been a problem which we are trying to fight as, as Ugandans, but important as legislators. We know a family is the backbone of everything. So when the family is not stable, offices are not stable, mines are not stable, societies are not stable, and the countries are not stable. Today's Christmas services are the last for Archbishop Ntagali as head of the Church of Uganda. He is expected to retire in March next year after clocking the age of 65. He, however, still had more than a year to his contract. Ntagali will be replaced by Bishop Kazimba Mugalu in March. In Mitiana, where Bishop Kazimba was holding his last Christmas service, he had a similar message. <laughs> Walter Mwesije, NTV. Um,